Good morning. It is a fantastic morning this morning. I am, I am so, I'm so excited. I'm bouncing off the walls in here. Oh my goodness. We're going to have so much fun today. We've got so many things on the schedule that I think you're going to love. Let's see. All the pieces, the bells and whistles are up and working. It's one of those days when everything's just fitting together perfectly and I'm loving it. All right. All right, we're, we're here. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Court of Public Opinion. I am Recovery Addicts. Uh, thank you, all you addicts, for being here. I, I have to say, uh, a lot of you were here a long time before I was, and and so many that I don't even know who won the internet today. Um, I was scrolling back, and I think there's like a... After a few hours of comments, things start falling off on the back end. Um, and so I, I don't know. I, we might just have to randomly assign it to someone. Um, and, and, if, and if I have to choose, I think, uh, I think today I'm going to pick Abby in the UK. Abby, first of all, thank you for becoming a member. Uh, I appreciate that very much. Katrina as well, thanks for upgrading to the jury membership. Um, I think that's everything I missed as far as the memberships before we got started here. But, uh, but oh my goodness, we are going to have so much fun. This is, this is crazy. Even today, even today, I fixed the sunlight. I fought with the sun and I won. Uh, you can't see this, but I have... Uh, I have some spandex sheets that I use for my science classes when I was teaching science to kids out in my front yard uh, during the summertime. And we use those sheets to replicate uh, the space-time continuum and, and show gravity and orbits and things like that. And I've had them sitting in a bin, like not five feet from me the whole time I've been uh, live streaming. And they are perfect shades. I just drape them over the existing shades and, and I get this. And now I don't have the sun in my eyes. So, so everything, is, everything is turning up roses this morning, which is just wonderful. And I appreciate everybody for being here. Let me, uh, let's, uh, let's go here. We've got a couple things on the schedule today that I'm, I'm buzzing about. I'm so stinking excited, although I, I put things on the wrong computer. But uh, it's okay, we'll, we'll fix that. I wanted to start, we're, we have a case today that no one has talked about. I've searched, I've searched YouTube from top to bottom. I've looked at every single video. No, I haven't, but I've searched, right? And nobody has brought up this case. There's a case out there that I was stumbling upon yesterday. I know we said we'd go live again if we, if that mom that would catfished her daughter and sent all those mis those messages to her, if that um, hearing went forward, I was going to go live. Well, it turns out while I was digging for that to make sure that it wasn't like sliding under the radar, we were missing it. It turns out, um, I think the commands are on, Toxic Orchid. Um, but give them, a, give them a try. Well, let me check the audio one second. And make sure the audio is coming out in the right place. Headphones. Yeah, try try subject matter jurisdiction or something. See if it see if it works. I think I think it should be working. Oh nope. Hang on one second. Uh, do, 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 do. Hang on one second. Here we go. Input three on. Are we gonna adjust subject matter jurisdiction? Okay, now it's working. Thank you for thank you for the catch. Um. Um. Let's see. So. Okay, so I apologize if I missed anyone whose uh, whose audio triggers did not fire this morning because I had the button pressed wrong. But uh, all right, so where was I? We were we were talking about. Um, I, I love all the members coming in, and taking a seat. Uh, it's awesome. Um, okay, so so we have this case that I was looking for this catfish mom issue, which is just bizarre, and we need to have these on too, huh? There we go. Did he turn that on? Why is that not working? Right? So I thought it was going to be perfect, but it's not quite. We'll fix that. That's an easy fix. Um, let's see. Clip and gain. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit, right? Right there. Okay. Okay. So we were looking for that case, and it didn't turn out. It didn't show up. Apparently, the uh, the case actually got uh, postponed until like January. It got moved out January twelfth, I think. 
and finally found that and I'm still digging around and I found some awesome links for Michigan. I found some access to some video that I, I didn't know was available and I'm digging around there and I, I stumble, I stumble on a live court proceeding. Okay. That, that is just crazy. And I'm, I'm watching this as it starts developing. And I, I, you know, I'm sort of watching as I'm doing some research on some other things. And I, I, get, I get digging into this bizarre case that has all these aspects that are similar to, to Sarah Boone. They're similar to um, Daryl Brooks. It's bizarre. This guy is this crazy. And this case has been going on since 2017 and it still hasn't gone all the way through trial yet. Um, they've had a mistrial. I mean, they've got, they've got all this stuff. It's, it, you're going to love it, first of all. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But in finding that, and I'm like, I'm watching this video as I'm doing the research on the case, and I realize, hang on, this video is only available while it's playing live. They delete it as soon as it goes live. So I stop, I quickly rewind, okay, to and, and start recording. And as I'm recording, right when it gets to the juicy part, of course, they're finished on the tail end, and they shut off the video, and it's gone. Um, I lost so much of it, but we've got a tiny piece, and this was just a little hearing, and the court case is coming up. So we'll get a taste We'll get a taste of what's what's coming, but uh, let's see. Fancy says, oh no, buffering. Um, not on my end, it looks good here. So let me know, let me know what's happening there. All my, all my windows look great. But before we go to that case, before we, I spill the beans about what this is, because I think some other people are gonna pick up on this. It is so, so good. Um, before we do that, let me just welcome everybody, first of all. Um, everybody is here. The, the whole crew is present. Um, let's see, we've got... Oh man, uh, I, I can only go up as far as uh, Richard, Abby, Katrina, Toxic, uh, Denise. Welcome. Four hours of sleep. Oh man, that is. I, I know how that goes. Sometimes, some days. <laughs> Hope you get some rest sometime today, Katrina. Uh, thank you once again uh, for the upgrade on the on the membership. Um, let's see. Izzy's in the house. Good morning, everyone. It's finally Friday. It is. Debbie, I fell asleep to the, in the recliner last night. Didn't even turn the light out. Some days you just have to. You know, it's not worth. You know, all getting up and going to bed, you can just sleep in that. Hopefully, it's a comfy recliner and you got some good rest. Carol, uh, welcome, Mr. Eighties Music. I saw you in, on Discord last night. Uh, didn't didn't say hi there. I was I was busy, but uh, I saw you in there. Uh, toxic. Um, th that that is Goober. I went to cuddle with Katrina. <laughs> he has such a gentle deposition. Um, let's see. Weather Watch. Good morning, you beautiful people. Good to talk to you. Um, Thanks for the, the kind message the other day. Uh, I think that was this morning. You were up, you were up late. Well, it was late for you, early for me. Um, the, there was me saying I'm going to be a couple of minutes late. Yes, and I am. I'm sorry. Um, I, I probably should type this. Um, if I can do it right. Let's see. There we go. I was late. Um, let's see who else we have. Did I miss anybody? Uh, Weather Watch, Abby, Katrina, we've got those. Catlaw, good morning. Happy New Year's Eve, Eve, right? So this is New Year's Adam, Catlaw. Uh, first you have New Year's Adam, then you have New Year's Eve, and, and then, you know, it's the new year. But uh, it's exciting. A new year it will bring some amazing things for all of us, I hope. Um, okay, Anne McCord is in the house. Kathy, good morning, addicts. Good to have you, Kathy. I think... Um, Let's see. I think I've got. I think I've got many of you, Laura and I'm, I'm, I'm repeating. Peter Terry. Good morning to all. We've had a huge storm, lost power. We probably have to watch a rerun. P.S. It's Samantha Terry. Oh man. Let's see. Anyway, anyway, a car crash. Anyway, a car crash sound to play. Um, I could probably get a car crash sound. Um, we'll we'll work on that one. Uh, you might have to remind me, Richard, on that one. Let's see. Jill Hipple says, good morning from rainy Southern California. RA is late. I am, I am late. Uh, the sound should be working now if, if anyone triggers things. But sometimes alias. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so far behind. So far behind. Uh, Char Elder. Debbie. Kathy joined, of course. Thank you so much for joining, Kathy. I should, sure appreciate that. Um, Fancy 49. Bella. Okay, so if, if I missed you, and I missed probably half of you, um, raise your hand and, and let me know. Michelle Stark waves by the bit from the bench by the door. It, it, it's almost as good of you back there. It's not reserved seating, but we're glad you fit in the in in, in the room and you can witness today. Mars House, Aline, um, Jean Panek, um, Linda Hill, uh, Kim sixty eight says, "Hey, me right here." Carolyn Black, Pauline Phillips, Ever Julie Molly. Okay, so uh, it, welcome. Let's we're we're gonna finish with roll call. Um, everyone else, uh, Gordon, Sherry. 
uh, all those. Fancy 49, welcome to the gallery. Appreciate that so much. Okay, let's, it looks like you worked hard on the new emotes for the channel. I was working on them. I hope they all work. Um, some of the motion ones are not working the way they should, and I'm, I'm going to try to fix that, but, uh, but they're a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, we do have the, uh, uh, as you see here, and Izzy Watts has demonstrated, uh, we do have the, uh, the lozenge cannon. Um, which I, I actually, the, the picture of the lozenge, I actually took a picture of that right here on my desk and then superimposed that with some other images. We have a coughing picture. We have jail. Um, it looks like they're all working. Although um, on my screen, when I load these up, the flames behind the hot mic are actually moving. It's like it's like an actual fire. And I don't know why it's not working the way it should, but uh, it's all good. Okay, so before we kick off this this case, hey, Eric, good to have you here, by the way. Before we kick off this case that we're going to talk about today, um, we have, uh, we, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, I need to make the duck sound as well. Um, before we have this case, we have two arraignments I want to watch. And this happened just this morning out of Knoxville. And it was, it was going on like right as I was supposed to go live and I was recording, waiting for it to finish. And these are amazing. These are so much fun. Let me, let me bring in, uh, switch it to, here we go. Okay, so the first one is sort of funny um, because, uh, <laughs> wait for it, welcome to the gallery. So so glad to have you on board, appreciate that. Well, there is DVD-4. That's one of our favorite magistrates here. There is DVD-F3. Oh, Debbie, those pipe bursts, that's so expensive. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Okay, so this gentleman. What's your name, sir? He gets really confused. And I have this on my, I put this on my little handy dandy device so I can fast forward some of the slow parts. Um, Kellen says, Frederick I was just Bradley. watching his live stream. Yes, sir. The, the last one, the last one is the best. We're, we're going to get to that. It's got a hot make and everything. Um, so it's so exciting. They couldn't get the stripes to line up. Sir, really. you have a right to remain silent. Anything that you say could be used against you in court. You have a right to be represented by an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one can be appointed to represent you. You have a right to have a hearing where you can present witnesses and evidence on your own behalf, and you can question any witnesses or evidence that the government throws up against you. That right to remain silent is going to come up rights? again. Yes, sir. He's going to. Did you fill out one of these forms, sir? Yes, sir, I did. Please raise your right hand and be sworn. Do you swear the information you put on your form is all true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. All right, sir, you put your hand down. I'm not showing buffering on my side, guys. I'm like confused. Huh. I, I just, I want to ask a question. Can I ask a question? Well, why don't you let me get finished with what I'm doing and then I'll give you a chance to ask questions. I may answer your question as we go along. He doesn't want to answer any yes, questions. Sir. If that makes any sense. Yes, sir. Got to wait on the computers to do what they're supposed to do. Sir, you're charged with especially aggravated kidnapping. You're also charged with aggravated assault. And you're charged with theft of a firearm worth less than $2,500. These are serious charges. Do you charges. understand what you are accused of? Yes, sir, I understand. But I don't know how this is. I, I, I really don't. They're telling me that this charge came from two months ago, and I I got a charge. I'm out on I was out on bond on. I've been going to court. I've been doing everything right. Sir, right. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, this is a good time for you to exercise your right to remain silent. Anything uh, you say, this is all recorded, and so the DA can listen in on it, and anybody can listen in on it. Even us. And yes, there's sir. not a whole lot that I can do to affect any of these charges. Uh, can you tell me how long you've lived in the Knoxville area? Oh, I've been living here since 89. Mars House, welcome to the gallery. Appreciate you joining. Thank you so much. 
Um, this gentleman is completely confused. You can see by the look on his face, he just doesn't understand. He wants to ask a question. The judge says, the judge doesn't want it. I just went to court the other day. I'm puzzled. I'm puzzled. I don't get it. What he's confused about, as you're going to see here in just a minute, is that these charges stem from an event that happened allegedly two months ago. And now he's just now been been sort of arrested and pulled in. And he says, I've been going to court. I've been talking to my my parole officer. You know, I've been, you know, my, I've, we've done all this. All of a sudden these charges show up. And he, it's almost like he thinks the statute of limitations has expired in those two months and he can't get charged with this. And these are like, what was it, aggravated kidnapping, um, theft of a firearm, less than $2,500. And for those of you that don't under, understand the price of firearms, most firearms are less than $2,500 unless you have a, a really high end um, firearm um, with, you know, optics and things like that attached, or it's a collector's um, item or something like that. It'd have to be a really nice, Nice, nice gun to be over twenty five hundred dollars. Um, collectors' items, antiques, things like that can run can run a lot of money, but most firearms are, are under twenty five hundred dollars. But he's just he's just stumped. Let's see, we might try to speed him up just a tiny bit. Let me let me catch up on chat here first. Um, this guy's definitely from Tennessee, says Lizzie. <laughs> TW says, please welcome all the lurkers here. As there was one from Ireland who removed her message, everyone is welcome. Yes, 100%. Please feel welcome here. Um, glad to have you. Mars House immediately goes for all the emojis. <laughs> pickles, 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 number one. He, this guy's, this guy's just, it, he, it's just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to him. Okay, so, but I want you to compare this because this, this happened this morning. This happened minutes ago, Right. Um, and I want you to compare this because this was the first of the arraignments in the in the uh, in the series. I think there was one or two in the middle, and then we're gonna jump to the last one and look at the contrast on the last one. Because on the last one, the judge almost starts acting like an attorney. He's giving advice. He's he's answering questions. He's doing all sorts of stuff, and it's and it's bizarre. And it's a funny a funny situation too. He has the right to remain silent, but not the ability. Uh, that's that's right. Uh, Scooter McLovin says, "Wait till the Bryce Rhodes trial. We'll have to look at that one. I have I've not followed that one. Let me know what's what's happening. But wait, wait till you see the one we're going to talk about today. Uh, did you see the police chase that was happening in California yesterday? An officer was shot. Mary, I was that was that an old chase? I saw the one that ended with the um, the the truck that or the SWAT vehicle that rammed the the vehicle. Was that was that an old chase or was that a current chase where an officer was was killed?" Somehow, it, it, I wasn't sure if this was because I saw like a, a funeral procession sort of tied in with all this. I'm not sure what it was. Bella, welcome to the gallery. Good to have you as a member. Thank you so much for your support. If you go ahead and type exclamation point seat, if you're a member, you'll get ushered to the front row, and uh, where you get to, uh, even a better even better view of everything that happens here. Arkansas Magnet Fisher says, late, but here, good morning, good to have you. Okay, so uh, we're, the judge is working right now. He's, he's doing his, his thing on his computer, which is, which is great. We'll give him a second to, to get that all done. It's going to be a while. We're in the middle of arraignments. He keeps getting interrupted for some reason. He's really frustrated about it, which sucks because, you know, this the magistrate doesn't have a ton to do with what happens in your case, but he has some leeway um, as far as whether or not you can get out on bond. He's got he's got like guidelines he has to operate within, but but if he's in a bad mood and people are really just ticking him off, it might reflect on how much your bond is. Excuse me, sir. Yes, I'm I'm just puzzled. Cause the officer said something to me when I when he arrested me, and that's the, I'm I'm puzzled about the question because he he said that this happened was supposed to happen two months ago, like in October, and I asked him why is it that my lawyer haven't said none, my bondsman haven't said none, and I've been going to court, I've been to court three times since the time he's talking about why is it this charge, these charges is 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 like the serious charges like and i don't understand like how i got here and he like i cannot he, tell you why the government people 
did not come out and uh, execute these when they were first taken out because they were first yes. taken out apparently in October. Yes, sir. Uh, you want me to tell you why nobody came and, and got you in October? All I can say is perhaps they were lazy. You know, this, this stuff has been uh, apparently in the system Perhaps they since were October 28th. All right. It's kind of, there's some serious charge for them not to immediately come get me. It's like, what's going on? Like, I, I understand. Know I, he, he knows about the event. He knows about the, the stealing the gun. Ain't right. I, I don't make no sense to me. He's just like, why but did they wait don't. two months? I'm trying to figure it out in my uh, can Toxic. I'm going to give you that name here in just a second. Um, if you if you want to start digging, um, just just one second. Because there are two names. This is part of the fun. Um, he has two completely different names he's known by. And Toxic, I'll give you the heads up because I know you're looking at this for Discord. Um, look up Robert... Winburn, W-Y-N-B-U-R-N, who also was known by Scott Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. Okay, so this, this, uh, the magistrate does not help this guy very much. And I want you to compare that with what he, he does with the next gentleman. Okay, he's printing off his paperwork. I'm going to see if I can speed this up. Let's see. I hit these two buttons and speed up just a little bit. Do, 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 Okay. Still waiting. Go a little faster. Were you pleased with the services that he provided? Okay, so yes, says, here's your lawyer that you had last time. Do you like him? And he's like, okay, I'm going to. I'm going to appoint the same lawyer. This is not the person no lawyers want. We're going to get to him in a little bit. Uh, toxic, I need a lesson on that. I, I keep forgetting. We're in the middle of arraignments at this time. We won't be Second finished at 9.30. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna speed this up just a tiny bit. Yes, sir. There's a big sign on the door that tells them when arraignments are. I don't know. I thought they had to be able to read. <laughs> Why are they interrupting me? There's a sign on the door. Anyway, so so this gentleman, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. He, all right, sir. I'm gonna he gets a Mr. couple Mike of big bonds. To represent you in this case. A couple thousand There's dollars. There's a fifty dollar assessment that's associated with this appointment that should be paid to the clerk's office on before January thirteenth. If you're not able to take care of that by January thirteenth, probably it'd be added on as part of your court cost. Mr. Whalen's telephone number is five two five one three. Nobody call this number. Uh, Can you write this down? They do write it down for Of course, that's 865. I'm going to schedule your case for January the 4th. That'll be uh, for a bond hearing. At that point in time, Ms. Whalen will be able to offer arguments and evidence that the court showed that the bonds that I have set today should be uh, reduced or modified or the bond conditions should be changed. As to bond conditions, in the event you're released on bond, you're to have no contact whatsoever with someone named Bianca Donaldson. That means no going around where she works or lives or any other place where she's likely to be hanging out. No phone calls, no text messages, no communication through third parties, uh, no communication at all. She is to think that you have dropped off the face of the earth. If you know what I mean. 
Yes, sir. Wow. I haven't seen this girl in a long All time. Right. While on bond, been you're months. prohibited from using or possessing a firearm. And while on bond, you're prohibited from possessing or consuming alcohol or controlled substances or controlled substance analogs. Uh, on your charge of aggravated assault domestic, I've set your bond at $10,000. You That's must remain bond. in custody at twelve, at least 12 hours before making bond, and you've probably already been in custody uh, more than 12 hours. Uh, on your charge of especially aggravated kidnapping, I'm setting your bond at $10,000. And on your charge of theft of a firearm worth less than $2,500, I've set your bond at $3,000. So your total bond on these charges okay. is $23,000. All right. And as I say, I'm scheduling you a bond hearing in front of an elected judge for yeah. January 4th, which will be... He'll uh, probably get that bond lowered at that time. Wednesday. Okay. Um, do you have any questions, sir? Okay, so you're saying that my bond right now for all the charges is 23000 Yeah, for these new ones. I don't, were you in custody on other charges? Nope. No, for the new ones. Okay. At okay. twenty-three thousand for uh, the new charges. We're gonna pause him for a second. Uh, wait for it. I am from North Carolina right now, but I'm actually uh, I, I hail from out west. So I've got a lot of family out west in in Texas and Utah and and those parts, Idaho, things like that. Um, let's see. Um, I saw a comment. Uh, toxic. Uh, the name. The name is actually um, Robert Stanley Winburn. And drop the D in Winburn, the, as we wrote it. There's no D, just Winburn. Okay, all right. Uh, and I got to go to court the 4th. Um, January 4th. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, so. Any other questions? Nope. Have a blessed day. No, sir. Very well. Your arraignment is complete. All right, thank you for your time. You have a blessed day. Will do. Okay, so that, that was one. Now we're going to go to this next guy. Um, completely different, and this has a hot mic on the end that I think you're going to love. Your name, sir? No. What's your name, sir? Robert Combs. All right. Can I pay cash? Yes, Combs, you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say could be used against you in court. You have a right to be Thank represented by an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one can be appointed to represent you. You have a right to uh, have a hearing where you can present witnesses and evidence on your own behalf, and you can question any witnesses or evidence that the government puts up against you. I will say, I think these jail uniforms are a little scratchy because you see a lot of people itching a little bit. But, uh, do, you yes, sir. do you understand the rights? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. We'll slow it down here. Um, love, the, love the scratchy belly. Um, Did you fill in one of these forms requesting consideration for an appointed attorney? I did. Raise your right hand and be sworn. Do you swear the information you put on your form is all true and correct to the best of your knowledge? I do believe so. All so right, the, sir, you put your hand The down. charges this guy has are, are significantly different. They're much lesser. Um, you're going to hear that it's a PI charge, which is uh, public intoxication. Um, and tell me how long you've lived in the Knoxville area. Mostly all my life. How old are you? 54. Recovery addict to bridge too far for you to live. I, I can't go to California. I, how I, much disability? I is, how much disability is it that you get? About seven fifty. He he does look like he's had a pretty hard life at, at fifty five. He's 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 aged a lot for fifty five. Yeah, but you're uh, completely. Let's 
So the judge is reviewing everything here. And this guy's also confused a little bit. Um, but he's respectful about it. And, and for some reason, the judge answers his questions and then goes way beyond on answering the questions. I should say magistrate, not judge, because I believe a magistrate is a... I, I'm not sure if it's a elected position or not. Whereas a judge is. That is a beard. Yes, I think he could braid that quite effectively. He's got a little bit of a... I was going to address subject matter jurisdiction. <laughs> He's not going to ask. He's not going to ask that. Michelle, welcome to the gallery. Thank you so much for your, for your support. Go ahead and type exclamation point seat, and you can move right up to the front row. Hey, is there any way you can read that report to me? Good question. That's a good question, but a little early. We haven't gotten there yet. Sir, you're charged with public indecency. Do you understand what I said you intoxication. Are it's of? public indecency. Sorry. Yes, sir. Do you want me to read you the warrant? Please. So we get to hear the charges. Ready? This this is good. It says this incident occurred December 29th, 1 18 p.m., 6777 Clinton Highway. While traveling south on Clinton Highway in front of the Walmart, I observed a white male at the bus stop urinating into a bush. The bus stop and bush are immediately off the roadway with no obstruction of view. Traffic was moderate to heavy and traffic was slow due to the traffic lights. Okay, so he's peeing into a bush. Um, I, how many how many of these charges, if you read them, include the lines in front of Walmart? Okay, it's like a common theme in all these charges. But in front of Walmart, he was peeing into a bush. After pulling into the Walmart parking lot, the male began to walk away from the bush, still adjusting the front of the two pairs of pants he was wearing. The suspect stated he thought about going inside Walmart, but really had to go. A records check revealed several failures to appear on Mr. Combs' criminal history to include one from early 2022 and late 2021. Although Mr. Combs stated he lived at 6320, or I'm sorry, yes, 6320 Clinton Highway, Lot 20, his appearance and hygiene appeared homeless. After explaining Miranda rights to Mr. Combs, stated he understood his rights, he informed me he did not go to court because he believed they had him on some bullshit charges. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Combs was placed in custody and transported to the detention facility. That's what the warrant says. Okay, so, yeah, it sounds like he probably did it. It sounds like he sort of confessed to doing it. Um, but here he is in jail for peeing in the bushes. I think had his his record when he run it ran his name not come up with a failure to appear, they, they wouldn't have. Just just for you, here's where it being gets an old lawyer myself, you especially want to go to court if it's bullshit charges because you get them thrown out. <laughs> well, it, I, I'm I, just I was, saying. I was I was kicked back taking it easy. I understand. I was waiting for the bus, and they rolled up on me, and I, I just happened to be sitting there. He's he's not admitting to it right now, but yeah, the the BS charges. He's like, you definitely want to fight them if they're BS charges. You can't really fight a PI. <laughs> you can't fight a PI. Excuse me? You can't really fight a PI. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm going to take some sound bites from this clip. Um, I think that yeah, you can might be You've well. got the same rights with that charge as you do with other charges. And I know of cases where people went to jury trial with a PI and won. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you ought to do that on all of them. But every now and then, when they're uh, 
they're in the wrong. I certainly wouldn't want to uh, plead guilty to something I wasn't guilty of. You know what I mean. Sort of life's a bitch. You have to deal with it. <laughs> life's a what? Yeah, the, the, you're going to find the magistrate feels the same way, uh, Professor Phil. The BS charges clip. I, I might, I might do that. I try not to have, I try not to intentionally play cursy words um, on the stream, but I might make an exception. Life's a beach, and then you pee in a bush, and and here we are, right? <laughs> Miss Chris, welcome to the gallery. Thank you so much. Appreciate your support. Please take a seat. All right, Mr. Combs, I find you do qualify for an appointed attorney. And I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to uh, represent you on this case. Uh, there's a $50 assessment associated with this appointment. That should be paid to the clerk's office on or before January the 13th. In the event you're not able to take care of that by January the 13th, more than likely be added on as part of your court cost. Now, I'm releasing you on your recognizance. Yes, sir. Uh, no, no, no money. So no you'll be released sometime a little bit later on today. I'm scheduling your case for January uh, 30th. And that'll be in misdemeanor court for a preliminary hearing. Now, the officer will give you a piece of paper with a telephone number to the public defender's office. And when you're released, uh, you want to try and get a hold of them so you can schedule an appointment to go in and meet with them so they can be properly prepared when you go to court on the 30th. Okay. And you don't want to skip out on it just because you think these charges are uh, frivolous. <laughs> Uh, Chose his words carefully there. By gosh, go down and fight them. If if they, I, I'm absolutely absolutely trying to. This this is like a so, pep talk uh, of all pep talks. You know, go get them, boys. Now, of course, pay attention to your lawyer. Uh, well, when, they when go they, to school they, to get when them. they offer you when they offer you a chance to get out, plead guilty, get out, or plead not guilty and spend a couple months in here. Well, you're out. PI, for a PI? Yeah, well, now, most of the time on those PIs, they'll let you uh, agree to pay court costs and dismiss it on court costs rather than pleading guilty. Now, I don't know what they do upstairs. I think uh, the magistrate's but confused. But down here, that's kind of what we do on those PIs is uh, agree to uh, pay the court costs, and then they get dismissed. I think he's talking about uh, public intoxication it's there. A, it's not a plea of guilty. Now, what they do upstairs, like I say, it's been a lot of years since I've been upstairs, but uh, I have known folks to fuss about these PIs. By gosh, make them work for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think the yeah. most most they can give you on a public intoxication is about ten days in jail. So, uh, so he's he's talking about you know, public intox, and it's uh, public indecency. Sometimes you got to make them work for it, because uh, they don't like work. All right, sir. Your arraignment is complete. Okay. The arraignment is okay, complete, but you. the video clip is not because we have a hot mic you. moment. Um, members can, right, can so throw that hot mic you, uh, but, uh, emoji up in chat if you're willing. Don't speak English. That will need All to right. Translate. Now, at 12 o'clock, uh, are you going to bring those folks at 12 or try to? Yes, I can. I can, if, I can try and get a uh, translator lined up, but it's a lot easier for me if I've got a little warning. Uh, yeah, I can get them here at 12. Okay, I will try and see if I can get an arraignment or a, a translator. And if I can't get a translator, uh, we'll cut them loose early on in the arraignment. So there's no sense in them standing around if we can't get our job done, you know. Okay. okay. Thank you. Take care. All right. The video continues. We're going to give him just a minute to do some paperwork, and then he's going to start talking. Magistrate found his kindred spirit. He sure did. Um, by the way, um, 
let's see where where was it here? Oops. Nope. Irene, thank you for joining. Thanks for becoming a member. I appreciate your support. Um, okay, give him a second here. This is going to be good. He's going to tell us how he really feels about this charge. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make somebody wait in jail for five days because they were peeing into a bush. That's just, uh, they should have given the guy a citation. I understand likely offense will continue, but if he finished peeing, oh, just realized that the offense mic's, is not going to continue mic's still on. for a while. Oops. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. Um, so uh, apparently... Apparently, Knoxville County, uh, don't pee into a bush there. The, the cops take it pretty serious if the magistrate doesn't. Um, but uh, the, uh, it, the, judge, the magistrate was a little confused because he says the charge, when he read it, he said it was public indecency, which would line up to peeing in a bush. Um, basically, it was like it was sort of moderate traffic, and traffic was moving slowly, and he was standing there next to the road at the bus stop peeing into the bush. The officer had a problem with that. Probably should have cited him. Um, unfortunately that, that level of charge, um, it, it has ridiculous impacts on your, on you personally, if you get, if that charge sticks, um, because that it, it uh, could even put you on the sex offender registry. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's bizarre the way that works. And for the, for the charge, you know, when you got to go, you got to go type thing. Uh, it seems to be, to be one, a lot of people uh, get hit with that, that really doesn't seem fair at all. Then, um, but at the end of the clip, he's saying it's public intoxication. I think he mixed up the PIs like I did at the beginning. Um, so I, I think that's what happened. Hopefully uh, that gentleman takes the judge's advice, fights it, makes him work for it, and, uh, and, and it's great. We will not be able to follow that case because on January 30th, when that gentleman goes to trial, we'll be following Sarah Boone um, because we believe that case is going forward on January 30th. And we'll, that's, that's a little bit of a, a bigger deal, and we'll be following that instead. Okay, so enough delay, right? I've... I've I've, uh, I've held it off long enough. You should clip the oh well from that. Yeah, there's, there's so many sound bites out of that clip. I'll, I'll have to go back and get them. That's why I've, I've got it recorded now. We can play it back whenever we need to. Um, but I'll, I'll put some, uh, some links in there. This wears a back brace. <laughs> it's, I'm not sure if it's uh, like a, an ab workout. I think it's more for health reasons. Um, but uh, his member lacked curb appeal. <laughs> when you got to go, you got to go. That was, that's basically it. And, and really, if that goes to a jury... Um, which I think he should, he should, he you know, should bring that case to a jury. This guy wasn't like stumbling around, falling in front of cars, things like that. If it was a public intoxication, um, he was sitting at the bus stop. He peed in the bush. It wasn't like just standing there in the middle of the street, you know, and, and he tried to be discreet. I'm sure, uh, I think the jury might side with him and just say, Hey, you know, we're, we're going to let him off on this one. But, uh, but either way, um, let's see, he has no money to, to pay a ticket. So he'll end up in jail anyway. Um, he, yeah, he doesn't get much. He says he had like 750 a month in, um, in disability payments, but, but hopefully his attorney can, can get him a, a good situation. Um, it, he doesn't seem to be like the hardened criminal that, uh, that some of the others are, um, seems to just be in a, a poor spot at a bad time and, you know, things happened. Let's see. Uh, let's see. The join button doesn't work with an iPhone or iPad. I have no computer, so I'll be outside looking in. I'm sorry, Ann. Uh, th thanks for being here. I, I love it. Thanks for just being a part of this amazing community and bringing the comments uh, uh, that you do. Uh, that, that's amazing. It would not be the same without you, Ann. So, so thank you very much. I leave my phone in the kitchen when I do be in the bush. <laughs> Is the Boone trial definitely being live streamed? Ashley, um, we are definitely trying. Um, the judge has the final say, and we have not seen anything saying it won't be, and and we have uh, many large media outlets that have requested access. So, 
So so far, I would say yes, um, but uh, but I can't I can't promise because the judge, you know, at a whim can change that sort of like he did with the the case up in Idaho. But uh, let's see, I'm buffering again. What's up? Why am I buffering? On my side, it shows fantastic. Let's see. Uh, Rich just got a, uh, a text from me. I'll check that out after the after the live stream. Okay, because my phone's tied up. Because I've got I've got this next. Let's see if I can fix this. Okay. Are we going to address subject matter jurisdiction? We're we're going to address the the subject matter of the uh, the title of the video, um, because I found this guy. I'll go back and just uh, clarify what what happened. What brought us to this point? Yesterday, we, I said we we're going to go live again if I could find that hearing for the the mom who had been. Uh, catfishing her own daughter and sending for a year sending her these hateful text messages and and just it's it's crazy it was just bizarre that a, a mom would do that and then she was actually one of the ones who reported her own actions as make, making it look like it was some other teenagers and things and then she ends up the fbi gets involved and they're like nope it was you um so that that case is bizarre uh, the hearing got moved but in looking at that because that's up in michigan in looking at that i stumble across a live video feed and and it's for this guy who's who goes by two names right let me see if i can bring this up here i might have to let's see how can i best to do this that's not it i need that one up okay I'm trying to figure out i might have to turn off the comments <laughs> Well, until you change your name officially, we're going to call you the same thing. Um, uh, until I until I get this fixed, I might have to turn off the comments just for a minute because I need a screen that I can read this on um, while I'm talking. So give me just a second here. We're going to go right here and pull up. Where is it at? Where is it at? Bingo. This guy. Okay, so let me pull this up on the big screen so you can see what I'm looking at here, and we'll we'll just do a little background on this. Um, first of all, the the this case switcher to we're on five. Okay, bingo. This case, this is the register of actions. So, register of actions in Michigan is is everything that's happened in a case. Once a case is assigned a number at the very beginning when it's first filed, everything that happens, every motion, every every hearing, every every schedule, everything that's scheduled, um, a lot of the the, the paperwork that's filed, everything like that, it's all recorded on this register of actions. And if you look at the very top of this register of actions, it says 17654 FC. Um, FC stands for capital felony, uh, so it's a serious case. The 17 is the year. This was filed in 2017, and it's still going on, which is bizarre. It's been five years that this case is still going, so it's a, it's a long one. I mean, Sarah Boone's been in jail for three years, and she's like, she's livid that you know this this hasn't moved forward. This is the people of the state of Michigan versus Winbert, Winburn, St Robert Stanley Winburn. Um, there are some related cases that I have not dug into yet. There's so much on this. I mean, I, I could spend the next month di just digging into the background because I have 18 pages, 18 pages of events that have happened here in this case. Well, first of all, Robert Stanley Winburn is also known as Scott Allen Libby. Um, so at, at one point he changed the name and it might have to be with the fact, do with the fact that he has previously served time for murder. Um, and so maybe he wanted his name changed to not be associated with that. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know he could change that name like that, but these specific charges are for armed robbery and home invasion, first degree, and also of conspiracy home invasion, first degree. Um, He's got a big bond, ten thousand um, plus a little bit, and and he ends up uh, bonding out, I believe. Okay, but way back, way back here in seventeen, we just start scrolling through, and I'm just going to read some of these events as they happen because you're going to see this word motion appear a whole lot. As a matter of fact, it appears over three hundred times in this case because this specific person happens to be one who wants to represent himself, pro se, pro per. Um, and, and, and it actually started, if you look at this, if you go in the, in the trial, as it actually started here, you've got the order, you've got the pretrial, uh, motion hearing, proof, petition, petition. These are, you know, speedy trial, um, motions, evidentially, which five years is a long time for a speedy trial. Evidentiary hearing to suppress voice identification where police and prosecutor made it all but inevitable that O'Connor would identify the defendant. <laughs> These are motions filed by the defense. 
um, motion to quash bind over um, for evidentiary hearing on unco unconstitutional police practice and custom of the Michigan State Police and employing a dual filing system of criminal cases to circumvent discovery obligations of disclosure. Um, <laughs> it, this gets so good. Um, the, he's got motion for the court to adjudicate and address the defendant's specific motions for discovery and to compel discovery where the prosecution has flagrantly disregarded discovery documents contained in the state's police external files. Motion for disqualification of the judge with affidavit of actual bias. Um, motion for production of pretrial conference transcripts for the purpose of filing interlocutory appeal in court of appeals. Um, reconsideration of decision denying motions for evidentiary hearing on Brady claims. This guy, he is, he is filing every motion you can in this case. And just, and look at this. On the 19th, 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 20th, 27th, 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 27th. Um, it just he throws these things everything he possibly can at the wall he he files motion after motion after motion and now he, in in michigan i believe where he was operating as pro se pro per on his own defense he actually had standby counsel in this case um initially but um but he didn't like the standby counsel okay so I'm, i'll try to give you a little background then i'm going to play the video and the video is is, is short, and I, I will tell you, and I, I, I apologize for it, it cuts off right when it gets good. That's when it stops. But it's only available on YouTube while the hearing is going on. And as soon as it's over, they delete it. And so I had to record it while the hearing was going on, and, and then it was gone. So, so we, we get what we get, and we just have to look forward to the next, uh, the next thing. Let's see. A motion for reconsideration, um, order denying definite unopposed motion to quash the testimony of Nicole Stamps. This is a, a co-defendant, alleged accomplice, um, an alleged accomplice, informer, and admitted heroin addict in, in the motion. And this is the, the way these motions are written are hilarious. Where the witness perjured herself at preliminary examination and where the testimony of this witness is positively con contradicted by the facts and cannot be given probative value by the court. Motion, uh, discovery and disclosure of officers' notes. A lot of these things are just bizarre motions that, that just get denied. Um, anyway, this goes on. You going to address subject matter jurisdiction? Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't throw that one up, seriously. Um, but uh, he's, he does not appear to be a soft set. Um, so he's, he just seems to be like, he's either, like I said in the title, he's either the smartest dumb man I know or the dumbest smart man I know. I'm not sure which. Um, but but he he knows the system, and he's he's throwing up all these these roadblocks. Um, let's see a motion for ruling that Nicole Stamps' plea agreement that required as a condition of enforcement that witness give testimony consistent with statement previously given to Trooper Tish violates due process and undermined the search for truth. Um, the, there's 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 so much you can you can dig through this and it's just I'm I'm. I'm this far down on a list that's that big. Um, this guy is is a piece of work. So we're we're ready to jump jump to the video here. So let me let me switch back over to the comments so I can bring your comments up on screen. Um, just know that that this this just goes and goes and goes and goes. Um, everything you could possibly think of is in here. Um, let's see, a couple more I wanted to pull out that were just hilarious. Motions regarding discovery. Um, he's he's mad at the jail because the jail is holding his DVDs that he you know wants to to use and and it's a problem when you're a when you're your own represent um, when you're your own lawyer when you represent yourself. The jail is not set up really well to to la give you access to all that all the stuff like Daryl Brooks had. He had his boxes of files and stuff. It's a it's a burden on the jail system, and some of the stuff that he wanted were DVDs and he wants he wants to frequently be able to view and review this and so the jail's like we don't. We can't just give you your own little audio video entertainment system in your cell so you can play these DVDs at whim. And so he's mad at the jail for withholding these and withholding this evidence and back and forth. And some of the stuff sticks. Some of the, the stuff the judge is like, yeah, they can't do that. Um, and it's back and forth. But it's the same judge. O'Brien is the judge's name, um, another female judge. And uh, and she she is the one that he wants off the case because she has talked directly to the the jail about things and and he says you've you've usurped the governor's power and authority by modifying um, you know different agreements and things. Um, they've got in, in Doug. If you dig all the way through this, he as his defense. One of his defense, he says, there's new evidence that's come to light because I've hired this private investigator that's um, has has discovered that this murder or this. Uh, 
the, these uh, um, offenses were actually committed by some Columbia, Colombian drug cartel, and, and it's just it's it's wacko. And as a matter of fact, it's so crazy that there's uh, orders to you know just to run a little test and see if he's all the way there upstairs, right? Um, but but this is it's it's everything you could possibly want. This is the best eighteen pages of reading that you'll ever you'll ever have. Okay, so with that said, let me go to the video. Just a little bit here. Um, oops, let me switch to a screen that doesn't show my cluttered desktop. Because it is. It's pretty messy. Okay, let's shrink this one down. Where's my chat? Where did my chat go, guys? Okay, there we go. Restore chat. Here y'all are. And pop out chat. All right, chat, chat is back, and we, we have your, your comments available. So let me scroll back and see if I missed anything here. Um, let's see, focused, focused on informing us missing the gift fest. I, I missed the gift fest. Um, oh, Katrina gifted one, uh, one membership, and Laura picked it up. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katrina, and congratulations, Laura. Um, wonderful. I, I, I know there was a... I, I don't think, uh, some of you asked, I think it might have been Katrina. Um, someone asked, uh, is it possible to gift to specific people? And I've been looking for that. I don't know how that works. I, all I know is that um, that if you if you see a gift at the top of the chat box, if you see someone else's gift, you can click on it or and and turn on the setting that says receive gifts on this channel and make, makes you eligible for if someone does buy a gift subscription, a gift membership to, to receive that gift. And I think now it's on by default. Um, I couldn't I couldn't verify that, but YouTube sort of chooses at random from among the uh, the most active participants on the channel as as who would receive the gift. Um, so that's, but that's that's what I've got there. But thank you very much, Katrina, for doing that. Um, looks like uh, looks like uh, Tina did that as well, and and Courtney, Courtney picked up the the gift. So so thank you very much. I appreciate it. you guys are amazing. Uh, just an amazing community here. I appreciate you guys doing that. Um, okay, so going back to, yeah, randomly chooses who gift the gift goes to. They, they say, Ashley, that it's supposed to go to people who are active and, you know, in the channel. It shouldn't just go to, like, some random person who happened to accidentally click on the button and suddenly a member because they were here for three seconds type thing. I, I think they try to limit that so it doesn't happen that way. Um, okay, um, so that being said, we've got this video that's over here. So um, I will say this, the, uh, there we go. Okay, video's up. The uh, toxic, at the very beginning of this video, it's going to give the case number, and it's also at the top of the file. And I can send you that, uh, that log if you want, because I had to dig like crazy to find that. And if you want that for, uh, for, talk, for the Discord, um, let me know. But uh, at the very beginning, they read the case number. It's 17654FC in Michigan, so that's how you find it. It's Judge... Uh, Darlene O'Brien is up in the top left corner. Um, the defendant is right here at the bottom where I'm at, but he's going to shift around a little bit as the zoom sort of bounces. Um, but uh, but watch very carefully what happens. So let's give this a go here. And I think we're good. Supplemental six and seven, People versus Robert Winburn, 17654FC. Okay, so now in the box that I'm Michael in, this for the people. public defender's right here. Amy Mish, on behalf of Mr. Winburn, appearing from the Genesee County Public Defender's Office. Along with Nathaniel Perry. Okay, good afternoon. So we're here today on... Um, here we go. Here's sign number one. ...motion to withdraw, and there is an order... Please unmute um, me. We'll get to you, Mr. Winburn. Um there is a copy of the order that I entered on June 21st, 2019, that I wanted to have at um, my access. He's not done. He's like, oh, I have a whole stack of papers. We last week, so I adjourned. And um, there is mutiny in this courtroom by mute being used to crush dissent. Of prior attorneys for Mr. Winburn. <clears throat> Steve Tramontine, Dion Webster, Next page. Doc, Susan Longsworth, Alexandria Taylor. Let me represent James myself James since Campbell counsel won't defend what you are doing to me. Washington, County he, he does have his flashcards. And um, current counsel from Genesee County 
um, public defender's office. So that is the eighth council. Judge O'Brien must um, recuse herself under Mayberry versus so Pennsylvania, 400 U.S. I, 455 from 1971. Um, understand that you wanted to withdraw because there was a federal civil rights. I demand trial by jury. Okay, so that's where it cuts off. That's where it cuts off. Okay, and I am sorry. I am so sorry. Um, but if you listen to that right at the last little bit, the judge is saying. The, the whole hearing is to address a motion to withdraw. A motion to withdraw is filed by the public defenders. Uh, and they, they would like... Subject matter jurisdiction? <laughs> yeah, that, that was probably the next flashcard. He had a whole stack. I wish I, I wish we could see everything that he had there. He has pretty good handwriting. No, it was getting so good. I know. And he's better than DB. Okay, he's better than DB because we, we don't have that whole crazy level of soft sit where it's like we, I, re I refuse to accept you know, for value, any of these tr proceedings. I won't give any of them any credit. So we don't have that. Instead, we have somebody who, who thinks he knows the law really well, who wants to represent himself. And, and he at one time was allowed to represent himself. Um, I, I haven't seen the Sov sit uh, court has no authority type stuff from him yet. That's, that's why I'm saying I'm not sure if he's a Sov sit. Um, he's, he's definitely wants to do his own thing and has his idea about how the court should work. But uh, but this guy, he was, DB followed him. DB's case happened after this guy started. Sarah Boone's case happened after this guy started. Um, and if we go back and listen very carefully, um, I'm not sure if I got this part. I, I think I missed that part. Hang on. He's on his eighth public defender. Did we hear that? His eighth public defender. Sarah Boone's on her sixth. He's on eight. And the reason why his public defenders keep quitting is because he's filing lawsuits against them. And that's what the, the judge was saying right at the very end of that video is he's firing, filing a, a civil rights lawsuit against his current attorneys. Well, previously, the judge ordered him to not be able to file lawsuits against his attorneys. Well, guess what? He appealed and ran that right up to the Supreme Court uh, in, in Michigan. And they said, you're right, that you can't really do that. Um, and, and he won that one. Well, he's still on this mistrial. He said, now this is jubber, double jeopardy. Lawsuit. Yeah, there will be a lawsuit for sure. There are lawsuits all over the place on this one. Uh, Lily, welcome. Appreciate you joining. Thank you for supporting the channel. Consent to that night. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is, this is unhinged. This is completely unhinged. Um, but if we look at the very bottom of this, this case happens in January. It's moving forward with the trial. It is a jury trial. And, and this courtroom is televised by default, and it's the court proceedings directly. Now, um, so, there's, so there's a way, all of us can watch this on our own, even if I'm not live streaming it. Um, it's it's going to be crazy. We might do like a, a group watch type thing where, where we have a lot, a lot of people watch this at the same time. But this case is worth looking into. It's it's crazy. He's got prior murder convictions. He's got these crazy ideas about uh, about who actually did it. We've got some harebrained expert who says that it was the Colombian drug cartel that, that did this crime. Um, and and it's, it's just, it's bizarre. Is this a cannon? It's supposed to be, Bella. It's supposed to be a lozenge cannon. It's firing like a Hall's cough drop. Um, when people start coughing, you can stick that in, in chat and just shoot them a, a lozenge, and that should ease the, ease the coughing. That was a, a special request, by the way. Was that DMB that, that requested that? I forget. TW, those, those are our special, uh, our special emotes right now. Our, and I, I have made every single one of these, I'll have you know. Um, some of them I had some basic, uh, some basic graphics to go off of. Actually, the number one, I, I just you know, found that in a, in a file. Ernest, welcome. I appreciate you joining. Thanks for becoming a member. Um, yes, DMB asked for that. This is, this is your personal um, emoji. And that's wonderful. And, and as, as we get more members, there like, there's like a, a level where uh, after I have a certain number of members, they open up a few more emojis for me. And so if you have some suggestions, I can't, it's not like one-to-one. -one. They don't give me an, another emoji per member, so I wouldn't be able to make that. But I can take anything, even a photo. So, you know, hypothetically, if we wanted a, a, a mascot, you know, one of your dogs to be a, a mascot for the channel, I could take a photo of your dog and make it one of the emo emojis with your permission, of course. Um, so if anything's the sky's the limit here, I've really just had a lot of fun creating those. Um, but if there's an emoji, you guys, um, uh, as members feel that we should add, um, that would, that would add to the channel and, and be appropriate. We, we can probably create it. 
Okay, so so first of all, I watching this video, um, it was it was bizarre. He's she, she goes through eight, um, and I wish I had had the whole thing on recording, but I just <laughs> I tried to just get the important part where he was starting to show the flashcards. Um, we don't know. I don't know yet. I'll have to go back and look. The judge may have allowed them to withdraw, but we know previously he was allowed to be per se, and she revoked that permission. And she revoked that in court because when the trial started initially, the first time, he was running running the show and he was questioning a witness, um, and he actually got into a line of questioning with the witness about a potential murder, like a current murder investigation that that witness may be involved in. And the judge is like, whoa, stop. We need, we need the witness needs a lawyer before you start, you know. And it got crazy and the mistrial was declared. Um, I'm not sure if he was able to create his own mistrial in that case. Um, but, but that's sort of what happened. Um, but it's, it's just this tangled web. It's bizarre. It's, uh, it's lawyer after lawyer after lawyer that is, is just, they're trying to represent him. And then four days later, they're asking to be withdrawn. So they get assigned. They're on for less than a week and they're out. And then there's a lawsuit against them. Um, so this guy is, he's got his finger on the lawsuit button. He's got his finger on the motion button. He has more motion in this case than the, the offensive line of most of the NFL combined. It's just, I mean, talk about false start. This guy just is, is motioning everywhere. This is, it is just the, the funniest, the funniest thing. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this to happen. And unfortunately, that's the only video that's, that's out there. There's nothing else I can find that's out there. So we'll have to watch um, as that comes up. Let's see. You should make a metal detector emoji. That would be a good one, Last Poet. I should, I should do that. <laughs> you need to make a demon puppy. Um, little Miss, uh, that's what I, I tested with a picture of your demon puppy. Uh, the black one with the grass in the background. I'm the, it's a black dog, of course, but uh, the, the picture with, the, with him all looking picturesque with the grass in the background, um, I tested that. But I'd, I'd have to have your permission, of course, before I, I could do that. But um, Demon puppy and Miss Penny Baker. It, it's hard to have a lot of things in the picture for the emoji just because the, they're 48 by 48 pixels. But, uh, but that's, uh, I, I can try to make things work. Bart, welcome. Uh, rather have you late than not here at all. So thank you for being here. I appreciate it. <laughs> KQD says, I really do appreciate this front row seat. I like membership, but how about sense cushion ship? These front row seats are not soft. Um, KQD, I do apologize that the, the, the gallery has bench seating. The jury does get a cushioned seat and, and those that, that really want to pay for it can get a nice leather seat on the lawyer level. Um, don't have to do that because basically that's the only thing you get at the lawyer level. There's, there's a little bit else, but, uh, but look at the, uh, look at the, uh, the perks, but the, the different levels have different, different cushioned seats. Um, I, I will say I, I wanted the, the membership levels to, to, allow you to support the channel how you best felt you know appropriate but at the same time i i didn't want this channel to become all about membership perks because i want the bulk of what we do here on this channel to be why you came in the first place i don't want that to change i don't want me to have to be focused on i, I have to focus all this time on on doing member perks special member perks i i really appreciate it but at the same time i want this to be the same i don't want the channel to change um, that way. And, and I've heard some feedback from you guys that, that you would appreciate that as well. And I, I, I appreciate your support of that, but, uh, it's good. Okay. Um, thank you for the warm welcome says Miss Pris. <laughs> you found me just recently. I, I know you uh, added a comment on, uh, on the YouTube. I was just looking at membership already. Wonderful. Miss Pris. It's good to have you. Hope you, uh, hope you do enjoy being here and, and feel free to drop your comments anytime. <laughs> lawyer level seating it's expensive man it's expensive and i do apologize that they sort of preset the levels and i'm like i guess that's good i don't know um and i might have been off a little bit on that but uh let's see the uh the benches in the court in my city are so uncomfortable i think that's by design i think that's by design hang on one second Had a brief tissue break. Let's see. I fell asleep in court. Hopefully not while you were on like the witness stand or, or on the defense table. Those would be bad. Uh, you can sneak up front, Exodus, but if, uh, if uh, another member comes up and has a reserved seat, the, the bailiff might move you towards the back. Um, you hear, hear just as well, but the view's better up front. <laughs> RA hooked me with DB. That, Mars, you were here early on. Uh, DB was when I first started. And... Uh, 
and it was wonderful. I came for Sarah Boone, says Bella, got hooked on DB and all you wonderful chat buddies. The, the community here is what's amazing, and I, and I love it. I'm hooked on that. <laughs> the best thing about membership and front row seating is I can turn around and see all my friends, says KQD. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. All right, so um, anyone know how DB's other cases have gone? Sh Shandy, I don't know where that's at. I don't think they've moved... I don't think it's gone to trial yet as far as that. They've had some hearings, but I'm not sure when the court date is on his other cases. Like the, the one for, you know, I think it was running over Erica with the car as well. I think that was the one that was pending out of Milwaukee. Um, so I'm not sure where that's at. Oh, Army Mom says, good morning. Got a jury summons for January, so wish me luck. Army Mom, you might want to go over to uh, to Matthew Harris's channel. Um, and I'll, Matthew, I'm going to have to put a... Uh, a command in chat. Let me know what you want it to be. It'll be exclamation point and then a, a short word um, that will put a link to your YouTube channel up on the screen. Um, Matthew Harris is, is our sort of like resident lawyer. We have a couple in the house. Matthew's been here a, a long time and, and, and participates. He's also a YouTuber um, and he has some great videos um, specifically for uh, people who might be summoned on a jury and, and what to do and what not to do. Some of them are humorous and some of them are more instructional, but uh, you, you definitely want to go check out Matthew Harris's channel right here. Abby just posted it. Thank you. Um, Matthew, let me know if you're still here in chat, which, uh, which, um, what keyword you want. I mean, what you want your, your command to be that, that triggers your jury, your, uh, not your jury, but your, your YouTube channel. Cause I'd, I'd love to put that together for you. Okay, didn't someone the other day say DB was giving the people in prison trouble? Yes, um, we have a member who's actually up in that area who may or may not um, work in the facility or connected very closely to the facility where he is uh, resides. That's all I'll say without getting anybody in trouble. <laughs> um, and so we have a little bit of inside information, but apparently he is uh, as much a handful on the inside as he was on the outside. Um, which is, is just, you know, lovely for those guards. But let's see. Please throw a gavel at Coffee Mom to wake her up for me, says Lil Miss. <laughs> a membership button doesn't work in the live chat. Bart, I'm I'm not sure. I think like iPhone and and iPad devices, if you're on one of those, they seem to be having trouble with that for some reason. You might have to try it on a computer if you want to, um, but but don't feel like you need to. Um, just being here is, is enough for, for all of you guys. You guys are amazing. I appreciate so all the support. On consent today, nay. <laughs> Welcome, AJ. Good to have you here. Uh, did you just slide in? I, I haven't seen you in chat. Oh, I, you are up here. Not sure how I can become a member on my iPhone. I, I don't know. I, I'm really new to this. AJ, how did I miss all this? You you were way up here, and you said good morning, addicts. But good to have you. I I have to figure out how uh, how the iPhone thing works. My wife says it should be snack lawyer. Um, it, it's a lot to type, and it has to be exact. Um, it, I can do that. Um, actually, it might be too long. Are we going to address subject matter jurisdiction? We will always address subject matter jurisdiction. On, on Apple devices, you have to use the Safari browser, guys. Mars House, thank you for that. Um, I, I knew there was a way, but I didn't know how it was working. What's the subject jurisdiction of these ramen noodles? Um, I love ramen noodles. I really do. I survived on ramen noodles um, for a period of life where, uh, where that's uh, all I had time to cook and all I had money to afford. Uh, MHL? Matthew Harris Law, we could do that. Um, what do you think about that, Matthew? Is that uh, I know I know lawyers in general like to have a very long name, um, and th I, that's why you're probably leaning that way. But uh, it will only be able to be triggered when it's typed out in full. Can do some more bowling, says Mr. 80s Music. Uh, hopefully got a, a perfect scorecard again, like last time. There's top ramen, there's restaurant ramen, and then there's authentic ramen. Mind blown. Um, 
I, I don't think I could, I could have the authentic ramen because I could never go back to my top ramen. It just wouldn't be the same. I love this name, the giant rat that makes all of the rules. <laughs> I'll have to sometime find the story behind uh, why he chose that name. Um, I will also update this command DMB because I think there are a couple more that are in there that, uh, that I need to add. But I have to manually up that, update that one. Okay. All right. Um, that that's what I had today. That's this was uh, this was the bulk of of the show as far as what I have to say. I will say that um, for those of you that that like digging into Discord and like digging into a case, I think you're going to love looking into this this case from uh, from this gentleman out of Michigan, this Robert Winburn, um, who also has another name. Um, it's going to be crazy to watch. It's going to be super fun. I'm, I'll send uh, Toxic if you need. I'll send any links that you need as far as the the link to the 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 channel as far as where the live stream is going to happen because court's already set up. It's just as soon as court starts, it starts live streaming. Um, you did, uh, there's a young yes, I saw this on a globe, Richard. There's a law and crime video where the young thug crew refused a plea deal. The judge was fairly astounded at that. Yeah, because it was a sweet deal. Uh, considering the charges he's faced with, these RICO charges, you know, racketeering, uh, it's it's serious. I mean, this could could be a law lo a long time. He could end up locking up locked up, and he turns it down. Meanwhile, other people are accepting deals all over the place in that same group. The gang is falling apart, so to speak. Let's see. Adam, you had uh, from YouTube frequently asked questions. Did you have an answer somewhere? I've I missed uh, I missed the other half of that. If I can answer, let me know. Color Me Abstract says, could you use one of my drawings as an emoji? Um, yes, I could uh, if you if you gave me permission. the The tricky part is it has to be rendered down to forty eight by forty eight pixels. Um, a lot of your drawings have a lot of detail in them, which are amazing, uh, but it, they might not look very good um, condensed down to forty eight by forty eight. It might look more like a, a multicolor square. Did I just disappear? It still shows them up. What's happening? Mrs. R.A. says that uh, her feed dropped. I think it's just you, Mrs. R.A. I'm still I'm still showing them live. Does, does everybody still see me? Can somebody give me a thumbs up if I'm if I'm here still? I see you, says Little Miss. Okay. Wonderful. I've do, I do have the very short delay turned on, so hopefully it makes conversation between me me and chat uh, a lot smoother. It's time to adopt another addict. Please make AJ feel welcome. <laughs> Mrs. R.A. broke it. <laughs> five by five. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened, uh, Mrs. R.A. It, it seems to be working. A couple people, um, it might be a YouTube issue because a couple of people have reported buffering when everyone else is saying it's going well. Um, so it's I'm not sure not sure why that's happening. Uh, oh, it's J.A. J.A. was, uh, I think, I think J.A. is our recent subscriber. If, if you subscribe while the live stream is going, that's why this uh, message pops up um, right here. So, so thank you, J.A. I appreciate that. I should probably make a sound that's triggered as well when people uh, um, decide to become a member. I'll, I'll work on that, but I'm not sure what sounds... Hmm. Probably one out of the, the video today. Okay, I'll, I've got my work cut out for me this afternoon. My photos are much larger. Thank you. I can try Color Me Abstract. I'll, I can do some tests with some of them. Um, but uh, they just the detailed pictures have not worked very well. YouTube have issues? That never happens. No, it doesn't. Um, Matthew Harris, did you, were you okay? I forgot. Did you, uh, were you okay with the MHL as the... All, in all caps as a command to trigger your YouTube channel in chat. Pretty soon there won't be room for us little people. Randy, no, 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 there's always room. That's that's what I wanted to make you know for sure. Um, this this channel is what it is because of you guys and, and how you treat each other. 
Um, that's what makes us amazing. Um, I do, I do 100% appreciate those who support me in a financial way that I'm able to continue doing this. Um, that's cause I want to do this forever. You know, as long as I'm around, I want to do this. Um, so that, that part is 100%. I'm grateful to you for those who are able to do that, but those who are not able or don't ch- or choose not to please, please feel welcome. Please stay, please chat. I, I love, I love what we have here and I don't want that to change. This is a great group to be adopted by, um, hundred percent. You'll find these are all the friends you never knew you had when you come here. There's no such thing as little people. Uh, let's see. Scott tried to Google Andrew Tate. He's the guy that shot and killed a police officer yesterday and then took off on a police chase. So Mary, the video I saw on that chase, um, I didn't, I didn't see the chase part. It, the video I pulled up, it was like after the chase had ended. So I, maybe I was looking at the wrong link, but I could not see the chase. And it didn't come up on my on my notice. I'll I'll play with it, color me abstract, and see if if I can find one that works. I know you've you've given me quite a different uh, a few different pieces, so I should be able to find one that might that might work that way. Uh, you checked into Hotel California a long time ago, friend. No escape now. That is the truth. Uh, once you're here, you can't leave. It's it's a rule. Sorry. I've been trying to figure out how to make a pickle with headphones and a metal detector. Well, Mom, Wombat Mommy, I've, uh, I use Canva to make my, uh, my emojis as well as uh, now my thumbnails. I'm trying to make better thumbnails for you guys because um, I've been lazy and just sort of used a, a, a screenshot from the video. Um, I think I need to do a better job of that, and so I'm trying. It just takes a little bit more work. I'm not fast at it yet, but uh, pickle, headphones, and metal detector. It might be, might be much for the metal detector might be hard to show, you know, to scale with the pickles. But uh, we'll give it a try. Adam says, I wonder if my message is getting muted because it's too long. But basically, you have to use the browser or a non-iOS device. Okay, th- thank you, Adam. Uh, iOS, it, it has problems with some things. And, and YouTube appears to be one of them. I bet the, boy, the boys on DB's Row just love his loud mouth. Life of the party, I reckon. Yeah, well, probably not. Uh, nobody wants to deal with him, I think. So far, great channel. I'm very comfortable here. Great chat. Um, it, this is fun. We're going to have a lot of fun, especially come, come time to talk about Sarah Boone. I will tell you, I've got an update yesterday from the California Highway Patrol. Um, obviously, I've also got, I've, got a, I've got a public records request in for Sarah Boone for a document that I haven't seen anybody else have out there that has not been released on any, any front, but I, I, we know that it exists. And so I've got that, that request in waiting for that document. Um, Florida is a little bit slow responding. They're not like California. So you don't get like uh, a call from people saying, Hey, thanks for, for placing your request. We're working on it type thing. California has contacted me four times since I put a request in. Um, and I contacted them regarding the, the case that we, we followed a while ago where, why is the dog Whoa. chewing on this guy? Yeah. Why is the dog Whoa. chewing on this guy? I contacted them about that case where the dog bit the wrong person. Um, and I've had this gentleman call me back. Justin's his name. And he's like, Hey, you know, can you clarify what you want here? You know, as far as the radio traffic and communications, what recordings do you need? And, uh, he's just been fantastic at, at just getting everything put together for me, put it all in a package, sent it up to his management for approval. And then yesterday get an email from them saying, Hey, California under our law, we have to respond within 10 days or 14 days for their request or no, we have to respond within 10 days, but we're requesting an additional, an extension for another 14 days to review. Um, they, they don't get requests often for what I've asked for, especially when it comes to radio traffic. The, that's not something that the news channels typically carry, but it's something I'm very familiar with. And I know that it, it might be very pertinent to this case um, because the, the, the information we have from the news media who does monitor that traffic but doesn't air it, um, was saying that the, the helicopter said they have the, the, the uh, suspect under the spotlight. And I want to hear that. I want to hear what the police officer on the ground, the canine officer with the dog, was told by the guy in the helicopter um, before he sicked the dog on him because that, that's going to be very important. Um, and so I requested that in detail. And so that, that's what's taking a little, long, little longer. Um, they still haven't told me the cost of what it will cost to get all these documents. So hopefully I don't have to sell my car to make that happen. But uh, I'm hopeful that, uh, that we'll get it here soon. Um, let's see. Little Miss says, we've got the throwing hammers. We do. I, I, I had that as a motion emoji and it just showed up as a white block. Um, but that's, that's as close as I can get it to work right now. 
Okay. Let's see. Car chase officer was shot at a traffic stop. Um, Tish says the tr police chase came later in San Bernardino County. I'll, I've got to look for that There's video. A lawsuit. Yeah, there will be a lawsuit for sure. Um, hello, Ernest. Didn't see you till now. How are you? Laura says. Let's see. I saw a video of the guy being bit by the dog. Uh, Irene, that is crazy. And and when I I put it here on my my little uh, my desk controller here, I've got a little wheel that I can I can watch it slow motion go frame by frame back and forth. And the number of times the dog let go and the officer instructed the dog to 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 bite again, even though the the actions of the suspect didn't seem to warrant that. I think that will be interesting. I think that will be a, a a factor. I've also requested as part of that um um that Freedom of Information Act request any any settlement information, which they're probably not going to give me, but I, I might be able to find out if there was a settlement. So we'll see. Um, Matthew says, let me know the cost for the records. I'll toss in to help. I, I don't think it'll be that bad. Um, I hope not, but uh, worst case scenario, I won't get them. But the full chase from video from yesterday isn't available due to investigation. So Kathy, was there, was there not a news camera up? I mean, I'm sure the, the police has their has their um, their airship up, but they they normally don't release that one uh, because it it does show uh, it'll show that, that they have like thermal imagery cameras and things like that, and oftentimes they don't like to disclose the technology they have available to them to to do those sort of um, monitoring. Okay. I sent you some clips of the cops shot in California on your burner phone. Thank you, Patty. I will, I'll look at those. The, the clips I've pulled up, I didn't pull up all of them, but the ones I did pull up seemed to just be at the tail end or, or be the procession. Um, let's see. Christine says, wonderfully soothing voice. Glad I found this channel. Love from Scotland. There's a lawsuit. Christine, I'm glad you found it as well. Um, it's, it's good to have you here. I, uh, I've never been to Scotland, though I, I have um, ancestry from there, obviously, with, you know. Don't typically give up my last name, but it's Scottish. Let's put it that way. Um, let's see. News helpers did not get the chase due to weather issue. They announced on end of what they had said. Let's see. Yes, I had to pull it. Went down the rabbit hole on that one. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Welcome to all the new faces for sure. Glad you made it. We are going to have so much fun. Uh, it, it's it's the new year, right? It's Friday before before the before the big weekend. I don't know what everyone's plans are as far as the new year goes, but I do hope that they involve uh, a little bit of celebration. I, I know some of us have had really good years and some of us have had really tough years. Um, and we're hoping for, both of us are hoping for, to have, you know, both groups are hoping to have great, great things happen next year. And I believe they will. Um, I'm an optimist. I know the world is crazy out there and it seems to be getting worse, but there are, there are good people all over the place. And a lot of times we focus on the crazy ones and the, the ones that just, you know, you are, are sort of giving everyone else a bad name, but there are many more of us that are good, that are kind, that are thoughtful, that to the, just want to be friends and, and hang out and have fun and, and encourage people and help out where we can than there are of them. Um, so I would encourage you in your, in the new year, whatever it is you're doing, um, to, to make, make it better for somebody else too. And you'll find that in, in helping someone else, it, your, your day gets better. That it, it's, a, it comes back, call it karma, call it, you know, you know, um, the a law, law that you know, God's law, whatever, whatever it is you want to call it, in being good, good tends to come back. Um, so I, I wish you guys next year nothing but the best. Izzy Watts says, "What's what is your favorite achievements or moments of 2022?" Um, Izzy, the 2022 was a very interesting year for me. Um, at the beginning of the year, I was I was working for the Department of Defense in a very nice job, um, working from home. Um, high level clearance, um, everything, the, finishing up a contract there. And, and that job, when that job went away, nothing came back up. Um, and in, in the line that I was, uh, that I was in, I was in a field that was very difficult to, to get another job. And I ended up, uh, going over six months with nothing and in the frustration of looking for a job and, and, and just, you know, you feel like beating, beating your head against a rock and not getting anywhere. Um, even though there were jobs all over the place uh, at, at lower levels, I, I just I couldn't find what was right for me and my family. And, and in that frustration, I thought, you know, let me just, I want to live stream. I've got all this equipment. Let me just take a break and live stream. And I started live streaming the DB case. And, and that first day I had 13 people join. And those 13 people, 
uh, or some of you, just amazing people. And the next day I had 35 and the next day I had 85 and the next day I had 450 and the next day we had 13,000 people run through um, the chat throughout the, the full length of, of the day. Um, and, and that for me was phenomenal. Um, finding this, finding, finding out that, that this is something that I love doing because I didn't know. Um, I'll tell you, I went to school for electronic media communications to, to actually be a, uh, oops, hit the wrong button there. I, I went to school to, to do this, to make, to make videos, to, to work in the news and everything. But I, I hated being on camera. I didn't like my voice. I didn't like how I looked on camera. Uh, and I went, even though it was a requirement, I, I found ways around in every assignment to do a different part of the job, a different part of the group assignment to not be the person on camera. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm still in touch with one of my professors um, from school there. And, and it was funny. He, it, was, it was the joke because I, I basically, I did well in all my classes there, but I, I never... I never was on camera, even though they'd try to get me on camera the best I can. And now here I am down the road, uh, spending two to eight hours a day on camera, um, and talking and, and just loving it and loving it. And it's so, so 20, 2022 has been, a, an incredible year for me of year of discovery. Um, and, and just, it's, it's ended wonderfully and I'm very optimistic for next year. It's, it's, I'm excited. I'm excited about some of the, the cases we get to discover together to watch. I'm excited about uh, you guys and, and your lives and things that I know. I'm, as a lot of you uh, text me on the burner phone. I, I know a lot about your lives that we don't talk about on the air. You guys have shared some details with me just privately. And it's, it's wonderful to, to have all these friends that, uh, that I didn't know were out there. That being said, it's it's been rough as far as sickness goes. Uh, you probably hear in the background, my kid's got an awful sounding cough. We've got a couple of them down right now that uh, that are just, you know, it, it just it seems awful, and we're we're hopefully on the mend on that front. But uh, Mrs. R A as well, I think, is is not feeling the best today. But uh, bad year for money, yeah, yeah. Uh, the money's been rough, but uh, it will it will come and go, and I, I think. Uh, I, as a as a believer in God, I will. I think that God will take care of us, and and we just we just focus on what we can, and I think things will work out. What is Festivus, please? The Festivus for the rest of us. Do you have a Festivus poll, uh, Mars? Um, Weatherwatch says you and your platform have brought me the, brought a lot of joy to this chat. All, Weatherwatch, I 100% credit chat for this. Um, you guys bring just amazing stuff. I'm going to need a tissue break. Hang on. Um, you guys are, are fantastic. Uh, this is a great group. Um, I am a great secret keeper. Yeah. The things I know. Yeah. I, that's why I don't, uh, I, I don't bring up the, uh, the actual burner phone on chat. I could bring up visually. I mean, like I could, I could show you, let me show you this. Um, I'm, I'm on six. I could show you my phone. I could, I could literally, I can bring up the burner phone and, and here you can see that I have 31,869 unread emails, which is, you know, the story of my life, but I could, I could bring up the phone and very easily just put up what you show on the burner phone, um, what you share. I could do that, but out of respect for you and make sure I don't share information that people don't want shared. I don't do that. That's why I, I take the time to transfer things one at a time and, and everything. Uh, that's a great answer. Round of applause for Scott. Thank you. Appreciate that. Easy. Um, Let's see. Okay, good year for pickles. Oh my goodness, TW. I'm I'm still seeking that, and I think that's going to be the that's that's next year's goal. I'd like to get sponsored by spicy maple bur bourbon pickles specifically. I realize they're made by Walmart, but I don't want to be sponsored by Walmart. I want to be sponsored by spicy maple bourbon pickles, um, and and we'll see if we can get there. Carol says, I'm glad you're here. Great voice. And you know, th and you know, things I, I do. I know things. And I like to think you look very nice and professional. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Um, good morning. So late says Georgia. No, it's good to have you though. You can watch the rewind pickle soda. What about mommy? What is this heresy of which you speak? Pickle soda. I, I don't know if I could try that. I think he's stuck with us now. Um, I'm happy to be stuck here. Uh, KQD says, Recovery Addict, I think you have found a wonderful way to express your remarkable talents. Thank you for the kind words, KQD. appreciate that. Um, Weather Watch made Recovery Addict cry. He does that. And he makes the sky cry, too. And we don't like that, either. Um, <laughs> well, hang on. I just missed what, uh, what the response was. Let's see. 
I'm, I'm not crying. You're crying. Yeah. It's my eyes are really sweaty right now. You guys, it's, it's just really hot. Breaking news, Idaho police to hold a press conference today to announce new developments regarding college students' murders. Geo's girl, um, you're the first one to tell me that. Let me, we'll watch. Could, do you know the time of the announcement on that one? Because we might, we might bring that live, especially if they, because they have been, as far as their press conference goes on those Idaho cases, they've been getting smaller and smaller and sort of like pre-recorded and, and even the last couple have been like a minute long that have like, hey, get this, guess this is how many you know tips we've received. It's like the, they've become nothing conferences. Um, 31,000 red emails. That's it. Amateur. Right. DMB. I'm, I'm just beginning. But uh, and those are the emails that I monitor. Pepsi is my drug of choice. Well, that and cigarettes. But I only smoke eight cigarettes a day. I used to smoke 30. Hey, great, great change, Roxanne. Uh, that eight is healthier than 30. We support you in that. Um, Pepsi was actually uh, developed just down the road from me here in North Carolina. It's it's one of the things, as a, as you know, that uh, the state's famous for. Highland Games are held up here in Western North Carolina. Great family fun. Mac, I need to get out to Western North Carolina, having never been there. Um, I love the mountains and I miss them dearly. Um, some of you uh, who are in the West and you know in the Wasatch and, and the Rocky Mountains have sent pictures that uh, make me homesick a little bit. But but North Carolina is home to me now. I just I just really miss the mountains. Walmart is where all the fun crimes happen, like bush watering. Hey, somebody has to do it. DMB. I mean, think of the think of the, the foliage. God is more than enough recovery addict. Your faith in Him is beautiful. Thank you, MB. I appreciate it. Um, he he has been good, and I have. I, I will tell you that I am I am blessed beyond what I deserve, um, and I have, you know, in spite of you know the the sickness and everything that's been going around, I have great health, I have a great home, I have a wonderful family and good friends, and you know it's life life has been very good to me. You should start a count on how many pickles you eat in twenty twenty three. Um, Tish, is it all right if I count by the jar because there are several jars a week. <laughs> And, and it's hard to count when I count sliced pickles. I'm not sure how many slices are in a pickle. But I was listening to Arlo Gunthry last night, the motorcycle song, I burst out laughing. Um, pickle cheesecake. I have a, a bonus special needs granddaughter that is, that is a pickle fanatic. Pickle cheesecake. I do like some cheesecakes. Um, I'm a little picky on those. Okay, Geo's girl. Um, did you say when, when the case was? Let me see. I'm, I'm a little behind on chat because you guys are talking really fast. The end of 2022 has been awful for me. 2023 has to be better. Ashley, I hope it is for you. Um, if there's anything we can do, please let us know. Um, we're thinking about you. Julie says, I'm from Ireland and love your channel. Wish I found you earlier. Better late than never. Julie, glad you're here. It's uh, The early days were a little rough, and it's getting better every day. Um, I, do, I, I do put in about... 10 to 12 hours a day on the channel trying to either fix technologically how things work or, or improve the process and make it better for you guys. Um, hopefully those hours will go down and allow me to, to focus more on research of, of the topics we're going to cover, the cases we're covering, the, the events, the updates, and things like that as, as you know, the, the actual framework of, of what we have going here um, sort of solidifies. Debbie says, I want a cigarette. Here come the plumbers. Oh, my goodness. Debbie, I'm sorry. Those pipe bursts are no fun. Uh, love the channel, although I don't say much. Still love being here. Carly, good to have you. Um, appreciate it. Anytime you want to drop a line uh, in, in chat, you know you're welcome. Mars, I'm with you. I'm, I'm not sure about the pickle cheesecake. Celebrating New Year's with a new mug. Wonderful. Okay, Kathy, thank you. 1 p.m. Mountain. That's going to put us... Okay, we'll probably... I'll probably go live with that. Um, so let's let's plan on doing a live to cover the, the Idaho update because I want to hear where they're at, especially if they have a development which I'm hoping is a big one. Um, Bella says, your voice is awesome, Scott. Recovery addict, very easy on the eye. <laughs> You're too kind, Bella. I appreciate that. 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so it'll be an afternoon afternoon show. We'll, we'll do that. Okay. You're never, you're never truly late here. We're just glad to see you. Right, you're always welcome, whatever time you show up. And, and the replays are always available as well. Um, the, there's, I will say I, I deleted... I deleted the early days with Daryl Brooks um, because I I don't felt don't feel like I was I was There's a lawsuit yeah I was worried about the lawsuit actually I was worried that the the what I was providing wasn't um, fully in line with fair use 
And so I, I, I deleted some of that and, and now I, I do things a little bit differently um, on, the, on the video. So the early videos that a lot of you um, first saw, first saw me on, are not available anymore. Um, and, and I deleted one video with um, Young Thug because the, some, the courtroom got hacked and someone started playing some uh, adult material, we, should, we can say, on the, the screen that was visible on my live stream. So that had to go because my channel could get banned because of it. So I immediately took that one down as well. But I try not to delete anything else. So mistakes and all, this is what you get. Um, I even had a hot mic moment earlier this week where my software stopped working, my hardware stopped working, and I couldn't shut off the live stream. So I, <laughs> so I was stuck on for a little bit. Um, just saw the breaking news on CNN. Thank you for the update, Geos Girl. And, and also, um, if you ever want to, the, about this... Uh, these updates, you're welcome to send that to my burner phone. That's one of the, the reasons we have the burner phone available. Uh, you can just type exclamation point burner in chat if you ever forget the number, and it will put that up on the screen. Um, that's a phone that you can text directly to me. You can call, you can leave a voicemail. It does go straight to voicemail, um, but I, I try to respond to everybody um, who, who does reach out to me on the burner phone. Um, but if you do have a news tip or something that's happening, whether it's a, a car chase or something that you think that, that the channel would be interested in, in or uh, other, you know, the other members of the channel would be interested in, please let me know and we'll try to include that. Uh, but thank you so much. Uh, Sandy Fields, welcome to the gallery. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Um, there was a real life pickle on the screen in court. <laughs> Weather watch too soon. Um, it was, uh, as far as pickles go, I, th I think we were, uh, well, never mind. I, I, one of those little dills, it wasn't a big dill, right? Uh, the conference is 1 p.m. if you're out west. Yeah, let's, let's watch that together. Um, we'll, we'll do that for sure. I'm not sure. I might bring it in on, I might bring the feed through Facebook directly from the, uh, the police station. That might be the cleanest feed. Um, so I'll, I'll try to get that lined up beforehand. Okay, I need Matthew's link, please, says CG. Um, I, I, will, I will get that built as well before our next live stream. Um, but, but this is it. Abby's posted that for you. No, nothing about the Young Thug case. I've been busy cleaning. Katrina, I did pick up a side cleaning job for a neighbor's house once every two weeks. That's awesome. I love little side gigs, especially if you can sort of work them into your schedule as, as how you want them. What's happening with the favorite sob sit, says Butcher Bird. Um... Lamont Maurice Butler, he's the con Consular General of Morocco, you know, because the Popo busted him on the th November 13th for being a felon with a gun. Yeah, love, love those crazy guys. Okay. Have Mrs. Aria make you a sweet pickle pie? I'll have to look for recipes. I'm, I'm not sure. She generally only cooks things that we think the family will eat as well, and most of them would not eat that, I think. I'm just, just not that it's not good, but they're not very daring. They're not, they don't like to branch out in their, in their menu options. DH2, uh, yeah, don't, don't pay that. Uh, just, just hang out and chat. Just being here's enough. Um, good to have you here. Um, I don't pay for cable either for the same reason. Um, all, all you need to know about Young Thug is that he might be faced with an unexpected pickle. This is true. Um, but it's bizarre that he, he turned down that, uh, that sweet deal. Man. I hate sweet pickles on my fire now. No, Katrina, it's okay. Um, you're wrong, but, but it's okay. Um, I just love those, uh, those spicy maple bourbons. I'm not a big fan of, of all sweet pickles, like the sandwich pickles. Normally, I wouldn't eat them but the spicy maple bourbon, just with the, the touch of maple and the, the little heat of fire after you eat it. Oh, man, it's good. According to reviews, it's really good. I give it 10 out of 10, right? What am I being congratulated co for? Congratulated? What are we congratulating Toxic for? Um, I don't remember. Yeah, there's the membership is four ninety nine. The they did allow me to have multiple levels, and I and I put one in there all the way up to twenty four ninety nine because it's that's what it you know, came up as, and I didn't really uh, think it through, and it, it, it sort of locks it in, so I can't change anything. 
Um, but uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh, don't feel like you need to do that, for sure. Don't do that. I just ordered spicy maple pickles. I'll have to try. I, Irene, I think you'll love them. I really do. They are, they are great pickles. Uh, the ones that are sold refrigerated. A pickle must be cold to be consumed. Uh, a warm pickle is, is not good for anybody. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and wrap this up for this morning. I'm excited about... Um, I'm excited about um, about Idaho possibly having an update. Maybe we have a break. Maybe this isn't going to be a cold case. Um, it, it will be fantastic if we actually have uh, you know something that the police can move forward on a suspect. You know something like that. Even if they just need more help, if they can release more information that that actually shows that they're pointed in a direction that's showing progress, um, that'll be exciting. So we will do that. We'll uh, we'll come back with that in the afternoon. That's going to be four p.m. So I'll build the uh, the placeholder and have that ready for we'll probably go live about half an hour before that um, there might be some other things that happen today as well that that we'll cover um, so I'll keep an eye on that if you see anything and you think I should know about it whether it's a car chase whether it's a, a court case that's being televised go ahead and send it to me on the burner phone and I'll I'll take a look tried the pickle salad from Taylor's farm really good a pickle a day will keep the blues away great company Okay, I think we're good. Deep fried pickles. Yeah, now now everyone's talking about food. So on that note, we're going to wrap up. <laughs> thank you so much. I want to just just say thank you so much to all the mods. And thank you for the, the great work you do. Consent today at night. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, I've got some work to do to, to get things built. Um, if, if I told you today that I will make a sound or make a link in chat, can you please text it to me on the burner phone? Because I think I remember, but I, I think I've forgotten one or two of them. Um, so... Uh, so send me a, a quick note on the burner phone. Just subject matter jurisdiction. I don't have time now. We're, we're the music's already playing, <laughs> so we'll have to address subject matter jurisdiction on an, on another feed. Um, but thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate the support. Uh, this would not be the same without you guys here. You guys are what makes this absolutely amazing. Um, we'll be back this afternoon to cover the update from the Idaho case of the four students who were who were killed up at the in Moscow. Moscow, Idaho. Um, going to be bizarre. Going to be crazy. Hopefully going to have some good news out of there so we can you know, get that perp behind bars where he belongs. Thank you guys. Uh, please, please, throughout this day, every chance, as soon as you can, um, please give a hug to those people you love. Smile at somebody. Make their day just a little bit better and stay safe till we go live next time, which will be 4 o'clock or sooner if something happens. So thank you so much.